I'm talking about chaotic systems. These are systems that appear in physics where everything follows the laws of physics, everything should be predictable, everything should be easy and straightforward, and yet they just do whatever they want. One of the best examples of this is the weather. Why is it so hard to predict the weather? Because it's a chaotic system where a butterfly flapping its wings can affect the weather on the opposite side of the world because it's so sensitive. It's so sensitive. Like any tiny little change can just amplify and amplify and amplify. And it competes with all the other tiny changes happening all across the world. And they all build together to, to become the weather. The first guy to, to really dig into this uh, went by the name of Edward Lawrence. He went by the name because it was his name. And he was very, studying a very simple model of the weather of just like, okay, it's, it's like hot on the bottom, it's cold on the top, and it's moving. And he was just looking at that very, very, very simple system. And he ran a computer simulation of this. This is like back in the 60s. He ran a computer simulation and he's like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then, but like there was some mistake later on. He's like, okay, let me restart. And so he restarted the simulation and he got a totally different result. He's like, wait a minute. I started this system from one point. I let it follow the laws of physics. It should be at the exact same point at the end, but it wasn't because chaos. So at first glance, it seems like it's impossible to make progress, that we just can't make predictions like chaotic systems are chaotic. They're totally unpredictable. We will never, ever, 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 ever figure out what's going on. But there are some mysteries here, and we haven't really cracked chaos here. I mean, it's, it's a branch of science. It's a branch of mathematics. It's a branch of physics. It, there are some very, very interesting patterns that emerge. And the patterns appear in something we call phase space. This is a really, really cool jargon that I want you to know because it's cool and cool things are worth knowing. Phase space. If I were to draw, like, phase space represents, you know, one point in phase space represents the state of a system. So I have a bunch of particles or whatever. I have the, I have the air, you know, just whatever I'm looking at. And it has a particular set of properties right now, a certain temperature, a certain pressure, a certain position, a certain speed, you know, all that. I list all that out. That's one state. Like a little something. Here it is right now. I can put that in something called phase space. Okay, here's where it's temperature and it's pressure and it's speed. Okay, there it is. I let the weather evolve. I like weather happens. A little while later, the, the, and I go check again. I'm like, okay, it's been a day. What's the temperature now? What's the pressure now? Okay, it's another little point. It's over here. Maybe higher temperature, a little bit lower pressure. You get the idea. Oh, and I check again. Bop, 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 and bop, dot, again and again and again. I fill out what's called this phase space. Phase space is just a map of the states of the system, of the properties it's had. Okay. What Edward Lorenz found as he tracked the phase space of the weather was that the temperature, pressure, all this, it didn't just go random places and it didn't quite fill out the space. Instead, it traced this shape or it started to appear to trace this shape. It was a very particular shape. Like the state of the weather was never over here. It was always up here, or down here, or over here. Nothing ever repeated. So two dots, like two times he checked, never repeated. It was never exactly the same temperature with exactly the same pressure as last time. It was always off by just a little bit. But it would follow this pattern, this rough pattern. And this is something that's called an attractor where a system wants to evolve in a particular direction. There's like a favored state of a system, like balls like to be at the bottom of hills. There's an attraction there. This is called an attractor. What Lorenz found was a strange attractor. Ooh. Not just your ex-boyfriend. This is a strange attractor. This is a mathematical thing. The weather followed 
a, what's called a strange attractor. There is a pattern, a regularity to the weather, but no two weather days were ever quite repeated. They're always a little bit off. And you notice this in the weather, like the actual weather. I'm looking outside. Weather's happening. There are cycles to the weather. There are patterns to the weather, but no two summers are exactly the like alike. No two days in summer are ever exactly alike. There's off by just a little bit, even though it follows a larger pattern. The weather is a strange attractor. And what's most mind blowing about the strange attractor follows this pattern. No two dots ever overlap. But if you look at it, if you're like, oh, look at that interesting feature in the in the face space of this attractor, and you zoom in on it, like, I want to look at that in more detail. So you zoom in on it and you blow it up, you get the exact same pattern you had before. And then you pick a piece of that. You're like, well, this little chunk of face space is very, very interesting. You blow it up, you get the exact same thing you had before. And zoom in, zoom in, it's same structure. Zooming in, this is something we call fractal. And this is another hallmark of chaotic systems. They are unpredictable. And yet their evolution is guided by something we call a strange attractor and that strange attractor has fractal properties what does that mean it means we can't predict what a chaotic system will ever do and yet there are interesting patterns there we don't fully understand the implications yet, but there's something there. There's something there. Nature's trying to tell us something. We're still trying to figure out what. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please go to patreon.com slash PM Sutter and uh, insert some joke about fractals and or strange attractors here. Thank you. See you next week.